Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Blind Nation. Glad to be here with you guys once again. And I uh, appreciate every single one of you guys. Thank you to the new subscribers that we have out there. Um, Going to be doing another uh, shout out video today for uh, one of the lucky YouTubers out there. And, and I don't, you know, um, before I get on the main video here, or the main topic, uh, I had someone ask me, you know, uh, you know, does it really make a difference doing a shout out for somebody and you know, asking if that'll ever get old. And all I can say is this. I don't know, okay? I don't personally know how many people might watch this video or the next video. I don't know how many people, you know, benefit from me doing this video or that video. But but what I know is it's the point and, and it's the thought that counts. I mean, yes, it matters to me that when I do a shout out video for somebody, it matters everything in the world if other people see that video and if other people you know go and and you know view that youtuber that I shout out for or whatever but to me it's the thought it's the thought that counts that's what matters you know uh, I see a lot of different topics uh, going through YouTube and stuff you know someone saying oh you know YouTube's too cluttered uh, you know I'm, I'm never gonna get not me but they're saying them personally I'm never going to get viewers I'm never going to get subscribers guys let me tell you something YouTube isn't new okay and there are people that have been on YouTube for a year five years you know and just because maybe you are new you know doesn't mean you're not going to go anywhere on YouTube and the only way that you're going to ever win is worrying about what counts, about the real heart of what you do. So the point is, is you know, you do what makes you happy, and whether it's you know a message you're trying to get out to somebody or uh, what whatever it might be. Guys, I'm gonna fix something. You're gonna see my. Oops. Okay. There we go. Whatever it might be, it's it's all about what makes you happy, and and uh, it's not just about you know worrying about how many people you have it's it's about really connecting with the ones that you do have um you know i feel that yeah you know we have we're still under 400 but we're slowly climbing but i feel like everybody that you know has subscribed to my channel uh they enjoy it for what it is they enjoy you know, uh, whether it be the messages that I put out to people to try to help others, or maybe it might be a video, like for example, I did a video with, with uh, my dog and her toy. You know, I think that everybody that we have enjoys it one way or another. And even though our list is building slow, I feel like that when it does, you know, reach a, you know, goes higher and higher and higher, we've got this large group of people this this family here at the blind nation of people that are true people that that really enjoy watching the videos that really enjoy me for who I am um, that you know that's what counts so just remember don't always worry about you know the the people telling you that you know you're never going to get anywhere don't let that stop you don't let it i've had people tell me the same because i'm a you know as they call a blind youtuber it's ridiculous it doesn't matter it has nothing to do with being blind or being crippled or being sighted or not sighted or being uh rich or poor none of that matters none of that matters so anyways moving on to the main topic of this video and that's about having a guide dog and what a guide dog can do for you. When I got my guide dog, it changed my life forever. It changed my life forever, guys. I went for a long time and never had a guide dog. For the first 20, well, let me think about this a minute. Twenty-nine, thirty years of my life. 
I went without having a guide dog. I didn't realize what I was missing. I didn't use a cane like I should, and I was isolated. It isolated me because I couldn't do anything on my own. I could not do anything on my own. I always had to rely on somebody's shoulder. And not that that's a bad thing. But I did it for so long, guys. For so long. And, and I don't know if this will make sense to anybody or not. But I did it for so long that I stopped using what vision I did have. Okay, I stopped using it. And with time passing, it caused my eyes to get weaker. I still have sight, but I feel like my, I, I don't think that my eyes are any worse than what they was. I think that they changed because of me no longer using what I had and I lost my, the, the, it's the word I'm looking for. You know, you, you, once you're adapted with something, you know, and then you step away from it, all that eventually just fades away. And so back then I had my way of using my eyes. I, I, I did things a certain way. You know, I was riding bicycles. I was riding dirt bikes and four wheelers and all that. No kidding. I was. Um, on a back road, I could even literally, if, if depending on the time, I could take a car down the road. I could drive down the road. It couldn't be the middle of the day. It couldn't be uh, right at the beginning of the day. But when the sun was almost gone, but yet it wasn't dark, I could see. I could see. And I lost all that, guys, because... I started relying on someone else to lead me around. Um, when I had got married, I relied on my wife to guide me around everywhere we went. It was just me automatically just grabbing her shoulder. Uh, well, it started out in the beginning of the relationship. We was always holding hands and all that. You know how that goes, right? Uh, and all that went away. My, my ability to use my eyes like I used to went away which was my own fault. Uh, it, you know, I, I can't blame anybody but myself. Of course, I, I have no regrets. And I'm getting to that point here in a second. Uh, I was sitting around one night and I was talking to one of my friends um, about, you know, guide dogs and using canes and my my one friend was like you know what she said you should go get you a guide dog you know cause we were talking about how I, you know i was isolated i did i was tired of not being able to do anything on my own and i wanted to be able to go out walking by myself and i want to do all this stuff and she's like go get a guide dog and i did i did i i applied uh my first application i actually put in at the school in California and then being as I was living in Ohio I thought well I'm gonna I'm gonna put my app in at the uh, guide dog school in Ohio so I did that the guy came and seen me a week later we took a walk around the block I lived in this little bitty uh, really small community I mean there wasn't even a grocery store there was a post office and a fire department that was it Used to have been, I think, a gas station there or something, but all that went away. Um, anyways, we took a walk, you know, and, and he said, okay, well, I'll go back. We'll get you scheduled. I went back. I uh, got scheduled. I went for four weeks to the school. Came home with a dog. My very first dog, her name was Pearl. And I, I think about her all the time. I think about her all the time because it was her. She was the one that really changed my life and that really made me uh, see the the changes that you know I was being given and the opportunities. 
not only that, but having a best friend, a best friend of, uh, you know, that never turns on you, that, you know, still loves you when, even when you make mistakes or whatever it might be, uh, that keeps you safe and that's always there through the hard times, the good times, the sad times. Pearl was always there. That was her name, Pearl. And I, I loved that dog with everything in my heart. And I, I miss her. I miss her all the time. And I, you know, I wonder how she's doing, you know, where she's at and all that stuff. If you want to hear the story of what happened to her, let me know. I'll be glad to share that story. Um, but I'm going to tell you this. If you're visually impaired or blind or whatever you want to call it, and you've never had a guide dog, but you've considered it, promise you, you will not regret it. You will not regret if you get a guide dog. You'll be wondering, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Why didn't I do this before? Because the, the freedom that you have with your guide dog is just amazing. But just remember, having a guide dog also comes with responsibility. There's a lot of responsibility behind having one as well. Uh, you, you've got to, you know, make some changes. And sometimes the changes can be complicated. Um, if you get a guide dog, and if you're married, or if you're, you know, got a boyfriend or girlfriend, husband, wife, and you live together, this is something that not just you, you're not the only one that has to adapt to the changes, but your family or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever it is, they also have to adapt. And they also have to learn to accept these changes that are going to take place. I can go into more detail on that if you want me to on another video. I'd be glad to do it as well. There's a couple stories for you there anyways. Um, but you won't regret it. You won't. As long as you want it right here. Uh, it's, it's just going to be something that is going to make you so happy to be able to walk down the street, cross, the, you know, cross the, the stoplights, uh, go through grocery stores, go through the mall, all this stuff you can, you can now do without worrying about bumping into something, you know, with a cane, there's, no, I'm not dogging people that don't want a guide dog that wants to use a cane. But there are, you know, things that a cane can't do. One, the cane can't, you know, uh, give you any type of affection back, you know, loving up on against you or, or any of that. Can't guide you, you know, can't be there for you when, whenever you need them. Um, there, there are times, like I said, there's, there's other stories I could tell you, um, my first guide dog saved my life. She saved my life. As a matter of fact, she saved my life and another guy's life. And they're not trained to really, you know, save your life. They're trained to guide you, to, to, to keep you from running into stuff, and get you to where you're going. Point A to point B. Point B to point C. Matter of fact, I'm going to share the story about my guide dog saving my life. Because I think it's an amazing story. So that'll be the next video that I do. But if you want a guide dog, I promise you, it will change your life. And you will realize how much you've really missed out on. And if you get a guide dog, please... Please be responsible and love that dog as much as that dog loves you. Love that dog 
and take care of it and respect it. I there's many other stories I could tell. I, I could tell you a story about a guy that was very hateful and mean to his guide dog. And that guide dog taught him a really good lesson. I knew the guy. I went to school. I went to his school and met him. Didn't like him. Didn't like his attitude. Didn't like how he treated the guide dog. Again, that's another story for another time. But think about it. Make that choice. And just make sure that when you make that choice that you are ready for change. It will pay off. If you got any questions about, you know, having a guide dog or where to go or how to do any of that, I'd love to help you out. I can I can help you with any of that if you want help. With the application process, any of it. I can even point you in a couple different directions for going to get a guide dog. Uh, there's, you know, things that I can do to help you if you want my help. Um, and I'll also talk to you about something else. Those of you that don't have guide dogs and maybe you want to adopt a dog, I've got, I've got another amazing story for you. Um, it's, it's really awesome. So just let me know. Leave your comments below. Guys, I appreciate every one of you. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry about the beginning of the video. I kind of was off topic a little bit, but... Yeah, I love you guys very much. So does my wonderful doggy. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. And by the way, um, I just want you guys to know when I'm doing videos, I really do try to look at the camera instead of at, you know, at me and the camera. I try to look at the camera um, to kind of show that I am, you know, really paying attention to you, not me, but you. Um, and hopefully I am. But let me know if I'm doing a crappy job at it, okay? Like, share, subscribe, and I'll be back here later on. Let me know if you want to hear any of those stories, okay? I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.